somewhere between the two of them. Have you yeah. seen an angry Scott McShannon and a drunk Scott McShannon? No, I haven't. Oh, look at this now! I don't know what a drunk Scott McShannon Double team coming up! Oh, but... Billy Bowers making a stop! <clears throat> of course, I've said this before about Billy Bowers. Every single thing, every single part of the YTA he's been in, he has been at the top. In the first set, he came top match-wise but then dropped in the pro and public vote. In set number two, he came top of his group, but then would lose to Benjamin Daniel in the in the playoff between the two of them. So here, he's got to really look for a win to equal Brandon Wolf and you two. Well, technically, considering something on the lines that that well, match hasn't even taken place yet. Well, that's the thing. Well, that's going to be the thing. We don't know what's going to happen with that. Is the match going to take place tonight, or are we? Is it being considered a no contest? Is it going to go down as a draw? I mean, it wouldn't seem fair, considering the fact that El Navino never made it to the ring and was attacked by Preston. Cover. One, two. But we can't just have a handicap match. Not with Hitmonchan, at least. Yeah, because he'll be... I'm gonna want... I think I'd probably want... If the, if the match were to go on, I think Mewtwo would leave himself out and have it one-on-one -on -one between Brandon Wolf and Hitmonchan. That will that's be... What, that's what I think. As as to whether or not that will happen, I don't know. I need to await some kind of word on it. I'm still getting nothing. I think, as far as I know, um... As far as I do know, El Navino has been taken backstage and is being um, given a CAT scan just regarding what, if there are any injuries. Also, if there are, in, if he is, if he has suffered an injury at this late stage, it might end up being the case that he'll be removed from the YTA completely. That'll be unfair on him. I know. And, and that, I do not want to see that. And the fact is, Preston Pierce will, will suffer ramifications if that happens. There'll be an outrage if he's removed well, I've the got tournament. A, I think... I mean, Preston Pierce, he's already generated enough heat. I think he would pretty much downright be done with COWI if something like that would happen. You see, now... That's the thing about Preston, it doesn't matter... It's kind of like John Cena in a way, it doesn't matter what he does, people hate him. But now he's sort of giving us a reason to. Oh, look at... Roy Summers! One, two. Unable to get the full lab. <clears throat> nice slam right there. Now, continuing the assault. By the way, you know I said I'm gonna get that thing designed during the break. What thing designed? Uh, something that I've been working on. Oh, that thing. The Golden Ambitions. Oh, okay. It got done beforehand. So I'm like, oh, why don't right. I wear that when I compete next? Well, you do plan to be competing on Melee in the Money in the Bank Last Chance qualifying match. Yep. Which is pretty much a unanimous call. Oh, nicely done there. Which was pretty much a unanimous call by pretty much quite a lot of people saying that JSR should deserve an opportunity even though he's been screwed you over. You were time. in Money in the Bank last time, remember? Yeah, and, and I was, was so one that close. Was one. I don't... To be fair, you were nowhere near. Jack, do, Jack, he, for the latter half of the match, he dominated and then raced up to the top to get the briefcase. He, like, he was like a child on cocaine on Christmas Day. Which but is probably, remember, how, Charlie, if I which qualify, is probably how Charlie Sheen's kids spend Christmas. If I qualify, that could change everything one, in two. that match. Because no you've, one... You've said that so many times and so many times, it's like... I am going to be the changing factor in this match. Match comes about. He did next to nothing. But this time, I've actually got a goal. Not to mention, you haven't exactly had the best records at Golden Ambition. As a matter of fact, if my memory serves me correct, Don't. since CXWI started, you've never won at Golden Ambition. I have actually. Have you? Yeah. Three stages of hell. Oh yeah, against your brother, Harry. At the first Golden Ambitions. Then you I then got screwed lost over by... You lost at Golden Ambitions 2. I got screwed over. To Sora. Up. And yeah. I fired you that after free. that. I got oh. screwed over in 2. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it was 3, but you lost to Sora. 
Yeah. Then you've lost the Golden Ambitions 3 against Sora. Golden Ambitions 4, you win the CXWI rep match and you lost and then had to be suspended after you admitting to using drugs. Golden Last Ambitions year you win Money in the Bank and you lost. Golden Ambitions hasn't been that good for me. Oh! Unlike Immortal and Art of Pain. Oh yeah. You see right now, Royce the Alakal! I have a better record at Immortal than Golden Ambitions. That's just that's yeah. an insult to me. And now we, and now Immortal is actually scrapped. I know, safe. which sucks. Yep. Because that was the pay. Oh that was God. The PvP, uh, debut. Oh shit! Dials oh, the suplexes. And this is where Guile is deadly. It goes Vince Ford. Oh. Drilled. Could have gone for the cover there. Well, it's a pro over a pro. It would have gone down with a win with four points. Or four, yeah, points. Yeah, so I'm guessing... They're probably thinking going for six or eight. I've got to imagine that. And Vince Ford! Well, of course... Oh! Nicely done the there! Suplex bridge! And... Ooh. Oh, look out! Going back there! Oh, and I think a collision there between Guile and Billy Bowers there, but Guile back to his feet. Was the tag even made? No, I don't think so. Oh! More Germans! And Guile ripping it up! Well, Guile has got a score to settle with quite a few people. Uh oh! But the F doesn't have a score to settle with, settle with any of these guys, but he's just tearing them up. Tag made! Here comes Billy! Oh, you gotta watch <coughs> out. He could hit you from anywhere. Kind of like. A dragon sleeper! I don't think that was what you expected him to do, was it? <laughs> no! We've seen him use a dragon sleeper before. Is a wear down? Not just as a wear down, I think he's made people give up from it before. Outside goes Royce! And Billy thinks! Uh oh! I'll quickly get in that one and now. Oh! Push back! That's the corner. Three minutes left! Now! The oh! Kick come! I think that might be all she wrote! Oh, did he hit that good? One, that is a massive point. That is big time. He gets the points. He gets the points for the win, but the additional eight nil victory. That is just changed that, everything. Boy, oh boy. Well, it equals him, I believe, points wise, from methods winning points wise, with. Random walk from you two X. But they will go top. Only temporarily though. Yeah. That's the switch up. I like. Oh, you've gotta be. Okay, people, well, as you can see here, Billy Bowers beats Fitz Ford. Goes down as 8-0. This is the announcement from the back. They're just about to bring it up. Here we go. Due to El Novino not being able to compete due to the attack by, from Preston Pierce, the match will have to be treated as a forfeit. What this means is that it will be listed down as nil-nil, however, it will go down as a win for Brandon Wolf and Mewtwo. That's the word I've got and that's the way it's standing. What about the point? Where does that put Brandon Wolf and Mewtwo?